All right, y'all. So I've been having my own little assumption on this whole thing about Brick, right? His little y'all call it a crash out. I call it a rant, fallout, whatever, right? And I saw a few people's reactions, and then I saw something that he said, and he said something like, "Man, I'm trying to get to this podcast level. I done that street life. We'll do it, do it right." That's kind of what I was saying, you know what I'm saying? Like, and he could take it how you want to take it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like this, bro. If that's what you're doing, the podcast entertainment thing, then just do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's nothing wrong with doing that. You know what I'm saying? Stop trying to act so hard. You know what I'm saying? Stop trying to, oh, six so, nigga on the dead homies, nigga. Oh, six so, nigga on the neighborhood crib. Like, like, bro, 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 bro. Do yourself a favor. You know what I'm saying? You're saying you ain't leaving your kids for nobody and all that. And this is a non-bias. You could be mad at me, respect me, whatever. I'm just keep my opinion. Help me just, it seemed like you really trying to do the entertainment thing. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, we, you and I both know, and everybody know from the L.A. culture, ain't no retirement plan for, for no on six show, nigga. On neighborhood crib, bro. Ain't no retirement for that, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? Just, it seemed like you about ready to just go be a, you know, podcaster, entertainer. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? You've seen me before on other people who trying to straddle the fence, play both sides. You know, you got people trying to work for the LAPD and trying to politic in the hood. <laughs> That's where you have a problem at. You know what I'm saying? So, if you say... Hey, man, I don't care what nobody in the streets talking about, bro. <laughs> I'm an entertainer. <laughs> I'm feeding my family. Man, y'all do what y'all want. He don't, you don't know to respect that? <laughs> Niggas should respect it, bro. <laughs> That'll eliminate, I think, all your problems that us as the public know about. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That'll eliminate all the problems. You know what I'm saying? It's just hard, you know what I'm saying, for a lot of people to let go of that lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? And some people just don't know no better, homie. And this ain't just a brick baby. This is anybody, homie. Like, that's over with. You know what I'm saying? Like, just let it go. You know what I'm saying? Let it go, homie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it, it just like, and I'm going to be real with you. I got a few phone calls. And they saying like, yeah, that tough stuff ain't meant to be him. And it's like, once you can stop caring about what street niggas think, you'll be successful in the real world. See, I've learned to not give a fuck what no street niggas, no special no L.A. gang member got to say about me. I don't give a fuck because you niggas ain't even like that. You know what I'm saying? So once you let that go, <laughs> the life is much bigger. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So listen, Mr. Brick Baby, <laughs> just go do you, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's, that's the best advice I can give you, homie. It's just as a real nigga, homie. Whether we see eye to eye and whether we ever talk again, homie. You know what I'm saying? Just... Just from, a, just from a podcaster, you know what I'm saying, who's reacting to another podcaster. You know what I'm saying? Just my advice. Man, come on, bro. It ain't you. <laughs> hey, let me know what y'all think. See y'all soon. Let's get it.